Now let's see how to install actual mods from the Steam Workshop. This is the easiest and the most convenient way of downloading mods for this game. However, not all mods are available on the Steam Workshop, so I'll talk about that next. Now let's see how to install mods from the Steam Workshop. Alright, for this first you'll come to your Steam, go to American Truck Simulator and then click Workshop here. You can see a bunch of mods here that you can use. So let's just choose one. More use trucks. Let's just click there. And you can read more about the mods here uh, if you want to. From th these are written by the mod author. So you can learn more about the mods before using them. And then once you're ready to use them, just click here, hit subscribe. This will start downloading the mod for you and once it's done you can use it in game. So it's really that simple to download from the Steam Workshop. You can go here to see the most popular mods and you will see all these. Just keep in mind that some might not be compatible with the latest game version. If you go Usually if you go to the comment section and see someone commenting recently that oh this is not working then probably it might not be working um, but you can also check that in the mod manager whether it's compatible or not. So you just hit subscribe to download these mods and once that's done you can just go to your game and I will show you how to activate them. Alright after installing the mod from Steam Workshop in this um, title screen here you'll go to mods and then you should see the newly downloaded mods uh, at the top here so you see we just downloaded more used trucks and this better dashboard mo mod so you can just double click to activate the mods and and here you can change the priority of the mod so if you have two mods that modify the same uh, maybe the same function of the game then you might have to give one higher priority than the other one um, so usually usually uh, what I do is the the mods that change the core game functionality I keep them lower and then the additional mods like car mods bus mods or map mods I give them higher priority but usually there is not many conflicts with how you arrange your mods. Um, if, if it's required for a mod to be given higher priority, you should be able to see it on the Steam page um, if you read the description. So as you can see, we just activated these mods. If you want to deactivate them, you can double click here again, or you can just click the arrow. There you go. And then you're going to hit confirm changes. And now you can continue launching the game like how you would uh, continue playing that game and you should be able to notice the difference and see the mod in action. Alright, now that you know how to install mods from the Steam Workshop, time to see how we can do it from third party websites. Some people are not comfortable downloading mods from other websites and that's totally understandable because these websites usually show a ton of ads and redirect you to unwanted websites and there is a good chance that you might download a virus or a malware instead. But if you follow my process step by step, you will safely be able to download the file that you need. Alright, so for this I will show you how to download mods from this website. It's called ATS mods.lt so as you can see as we come to this website we already see lots of ads ads here 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 also down here so what you have to do is just don't click any of those first find the mod that you want and before we go into one specific mod um, let's just look here at the website so you see here you have categories, so trucks, trailers, uh, you have a separate category for cars, um, also maps, bus mods if you want them. So let's see how to get the mod that you want. Say it's not here on the first page, 
we will be going to the let's say let's just go to the third page here click three here I can because of the ad so just hit this button here and go to three you see this is an ad I'll also close that and here our mods let's say this is the mod we want click the title this will take you to the specific mod page now to download don't click any of these that says get now download the download file the download link I'll show you how it looks like so you can click just that and not click anything else you see this bolded text in capital letters here uh, with the um, file size next to it this is the actual download file none of the other ones are so don't click them if you do what's gonna happen is it's gonna make you download something else right and you see it's going to make me download something else and uh, you can also tell this by looking here it's it, it's an application file it doesn't have the mod I'm trying to download the name of the mod that I'm trying to download so this is not the file that we want even if you accidentally download this you can just delete that you should be fine I'm gonna cancel and go back to our website now I'm going to click the right button here and this should take you to modsfire most mods are hosted on modsfire either modsfire or share mods if you are redirected to any other website that's probably not the uh, right website so you can just go back here and then uh, click the file again but once you are here the download file is not these this is the actual download file so we'll hit generate link it will generate the link it will take a couple seconds and then you're going to click download link now it gives you this download button but this is an ad you can tell here so you're going to close this and now you will finally okay when I try to click it just redirected me to this other website which is an ad this is not what you want to download so we'll close that go back here and here is finally our actual download uh, button here you're going to click that this should download the actual file here you see the name of the mod that you're trying to install always check for that make sure you're downloading the right file and it also tells you the file type which is .acs even if it says zip file that's probably the mod file if it says here and you can just hit save this will download the file now let's view here this is where our file is downloaded this is the mod that we want to use so copy that .cs file go to documents American truck simulator mod if you don't have a mod folder you can just create a new folder and call it mod but since I already have it I'm not going to make a new folder go inside mod folder and paste it when you paste it make sure this is a .scs file you see all the mods I have installed are .scs files um, except for some but usually it's always .scs file if it's a zipped file then most likely you will have to extract the file here if it's a zip file it's going to look like this what you have to do is open it and you will see the .scs folder and then copy that paste it in your mod folder or if you have 7-zip installed you could also do um, right click 7-zip and extract here to get the mod file you want all right now you can go back in your game once you're in game you can go to mods you should see the newly installed mod right here you will just double click activate and then confirm changes and you can continue your game and see the mod in action